Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to another makeup tutorial. It's late at night, it's around 10 57 pm, and I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw a couple of these viral passport, like photo makeup tutorial things, like driver's license, passport, and they all looked really snatched. And then I remembered I actually did, um, I actually showed you guys also that I recently had my driver's license renewed, and a lot of you guys requested for a driver's license, foolproof, long lasting makeup for driver's license, passport, or picture taking. Basically, a photogenic, long lasting makeup look that will enhance all of your beautiful features. So I thought that would be a good idea for a makeup tutorial for today. So yun yung gagawin natin. This look is actually pretty viral on TikTok. I really wanted the makeup products that I'm gonna use today to be viral also. So for today's video, we are gonna be using a bunch of products from ZC. It's a viral TikTok makeup brand. Actually, nabudol ako myself. Like, I actually bought a couple of their products myself. Hang on. Let, let me show you. This one, like, I bought months ago and I've tried like a couple of times. Also, I'm gonna take a photo of myself and I'm gonna post it here so you guys can see the final result. So I already applied my moisturizer just to prep the skin. Make sure that your skin has a good prep or base to it. Also, 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 this is super important. Make sure that you're not using too many skincare products, meaning you're not piling on like three moisturizers and eye cream because that is gonna tend to slip as the day progresses. Just apply a basic moisturizer to make sure everything's locked and loaded. I'm gonna proceed to the ZC Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Now this one, I have been using for weeks now. First of all, the mist on this is really fine. It sprays the product really evenly. So that's one thing I appreciate. The mist is very, very even. So you get a fine mist every single time. I also like that the scent is not super overpowering. It's pretty fragrant, but it's not in any way overpowering. So you get 50 ml, and I think this retails for like 300 pesos, 2.99. Super affordable lang niya. I'm also gonna be using their sponge, by the way. I'm gonna spray the setting spray on the sponge. This is one of the few setting sprays that actually work. I wasn't a firm believer in setting sprays. I've always been the type that can live without it. But this one is a good addition. Like, I can actually see longevity-wise, nagi improve yung longevity ng makeup ko. I can go on for a whole day without even retouching my face. I also do see that my blush, my bronzer, my concealer foundation lasts me the whole day when I use this. They have the multi-effect makeup primers. There you go. So, meron sila nung green. They also have the purple one. And they have the brightening version. I'm gonna read what it says dun sa Shopee page na. So, the number one purple one is recommended for dull skin. Nakakorekt na yung yellow and gives the skin its original shine. The green, it's recommended for reddish skin. So, to counteract all of the redness. So, covers redness such as acne scars for healthy and beautiful skin. Number three is the nude one. If you want to hide blemishes, creates a natural looking complexion while covering pores. So, this is the purple one. Very lightweight. It blends out really well, which I like. I thought it was gonna be like full-blown purple or full-blown green. But it does have that translucency to it, which makes it a really good primer because I don't really like super pigmented color correctors and primers. I feel like they defeat the purpose. It's sobrang green na or sobrang purple na, na mukha ko. This one has still a little bit of translucency. So if you have a lot of redness, for example, you can use the green one. It's really gonna counteract those red spots. Out of the three, a number three nude would suit me the best. I'm focusing this on my pores, basically on the center of my face. Blend this primer out. And immediately, I can already see it's brightening my skin. That's really nice. It is actually really filling in the pores. My first time using this primer, I can already tell it's actually blurring the pores. So I'm gonna put this also a little bit underneath my eyes. Thankfully, sa mga passport and driver's license, hindi naman po HD ang kanilang camera, pero kahit na, hindi mo alam. Ang pwede mangyari, baka nag-upgrade na sila ng camera. So, y'all gotta look poreless and bright even though the camera is not HD. I really like this. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting a lot. I have to admit, I'm not really a primer person, but wow, this one in the shade Nude did so much for my skin. Like, no foundation, but already you can see skin looks brighter. Pores are also much smoother. It's not greasy. but fresh lang, brighter. In fairness, in fairness, this one, okay, we are off to a good start. For foundation, I'm gonna use a light layer of their hydrating foundation. I'm in the shade HCO2 on their foundation. What I do is I try to melt this on my hand and I just apply it on the center of my face. I'm not trying to apply an overwhelmingly thick amount. This foundation is supposed to be matte and moisturizing. So I guess it should moisturize the skin while not looking overly dewy. And it should be long lasting also. Full coverage, invisible wrinkles and blemishes, brightening and with um, antioxidants. I'm using the sponge with a setting spray to blend it out. I really wanted to see how the setting spray would blend out the foundation. 
Well, that's giving me, honestly, like, light coverage with a sponge. Which is perfect though, because personally, I like a natural foundation more than a super full coverage foundation. This is how it looks like with a sponge on one side of my face. Honestly, it looks super nice. Like, it honestly is undetectable. You can't even see the foundation on my skin. I'm gonna use a brush on the other side, just because honestly, this is my favorite way to apply foundations. It's very blendable. You are seeing this look on my face. It's as if I'm not wearing anything. Now I've tried a lot of foundations that look foundation-y but have a lot of coverage. This one leans towards light to medium coverage but also feels like nothing. If that's your cup of tea, like a light medium foundation, which is actually perfect for this look. Of course, when you're getting your passport taken and driver's license, you still want to look like yourself. You don't want to mask anything we're just here to enhance this is the perfect foundation for that this foundation isn't really full coverage i would say light medium buildable but it's really nice like that smoothed out everything you want to highlight your eyes a little bit so i'm using a concealer to brighten my under eyes a little bit just for some dimension i honestly suggest you adding as much dimension to your face as possible like if you tend to not highlight your skin, if you tend to not contour and bronze, this is the perfect time to do that. Just for you to not look washed out and to still look three-dimensional. I'm using their eyebrow pencil, also from ZC, and I really like the tip of this. So it's like this, and then thin siya on the sides. Just want to fill in your brows really nicely. And this brow pencil is actually really nice. Little bit of hair-like strokes, so for that, pataas. Kind of smudge it out a little bit. You gotta make sure your brows are framing your face head on. Not like this, not like this, but head on. Because they're gonna take photos of you in a straight angle. Brushing using the spoolie. Panala tong eyebrow pencil. It's the right amount of formula. Nothing really much to say about it, but I really like the shape. One of the most important things is to contour. I'm gonna use their contour and highlight duo from ZC also. You wanna look head on, like straight, not like this. So you can see really truly where you wanna cut down this color is a little bit more warm than what i would prefer but let's see so formula i find this side of my face to be a little bit fatter like so i have to do a little bit more of work here compared to this side this is my good angle and this is unfortunately not my good side i'm taking my brush taking my brush and just blending it oh, it's blending out really phenomenally super easy a couple swipes this is blending surprisingly really easily and it's not causing any problems. That trimmed down my face a little bit. You just really want to go on your cheekbones but a little bit higher. You don't want to go under. You want to go a little bit higher and try to always blend it upwards. Also, I'm bringing it a little bit below. It's like chiseled when you're Like, go a little bit below. But usually, you contour here. Kind of bring it below here so that you have a little bit of shadow also and when they take photos of you you're gonna have like that appearance i'm gonna use a highlight shade to highlight creamy wow that is super creamy i'm gonna do a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here on my nasal labial lines also a little bit here a little bit here here you really want to add as much dimension to your face as possible and i'm gonna blend that out with my brush this makes a lot of difference, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, that highlight color is actually really nice. Like, super na highlight. Talaga niyo mga kailangan ng highlight. I also have a concealer trio. Bright and Flawless 3 Color Concealer. Yeah, this is how it looks like. It comes with a peach corrector. Okay, okay. Which I'm not gonna try today. But yeah, that's a swatch. And two concealer shades. Looks promising. Looks really creamy. I'm gonna use this shade. To spot concealer, I have this mark here, and I just really need that to conceal it for me. And voila! It did! Wow, okay. That's nice. That worked on my spots, and that was actually really effortless. Okay! To help with me contouring my skin even more, again, we're all about really just bringing back dimension. I'm gonna use this 3 color light and shadow powder. It comes with a highlighter and two bronzing contour shades. Creamy. Wow, the formula of this is... It's 
surprisingly nice. What? I wasn't expecting a lot because I'm like with China brands, not gonna lie. Like I'm expecting the major powdery, this parang hard pan siya. And this is like not even exact. Look at this. Chinese brand sometimes major hard pan, but this is just like smooth. I'm shocked. And even the contour powders. Ang bilis mag-glide. Like, are you kidding me? Excited akong gamitin. I'm gonna use the lighter tone. I'm going a little bit below. To sculpt the face. You can see. Pwede kang gumanon. And again, just try to sculpt the face. Make sure this still looks natural. You don't wanna look crazy doing this. But you just wanna add like that. Nice shadow effect. I promise you in photos. It's gonna look so good. You're gonna thank me later. I'm using the shade to shade my face even more. My favorite part of faking the nose. Next up is eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the ZC9 Pan Palette, which looks like this. Honestly, mattes, I swatched them kanina and it's so smooth. These are smooth mattes. This one just glides on. Like, I'm actually surprised by, like, how nicely they're showing up, you know? I just want really, like, a light wash of color. So, I'm gonna apply this shade to, like, a neutral brown. Take the shade and apply it on my pigmentation. Wow. Seriously? One dip lang to. Parang feeling ko I need just a tiny, tiny bit. You guys, I'm, like, shocked. At how pigmented this is and it's so blendable too like wow one dip lang to. i don't i don't have to read the anything but anyway i'm just blending that on all the way to the upper crease honestly just like such a light wash of color just taking the tiniest bit of this color you need to balance it out so if you have eyeshadow on top you also put eyeshadow on the bottom I'm gonna take the shimmery peach color, just add the tiniest bit. I don't really want to look super overly done, so I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit on the center of my eyes. Just like so, just para may light lang. Again, to have as much dimension on the eyes and on everything as much as possible. You just really want the tiniest bit of like light reflecting on the center where your eyes are looking. And I don't have any ZC blushes with me, so I'm just gonna use a neutral tone blush or something you really like. And I'm just gonna apply this where I usually or where you usually apply your brow lush. Ako personally, I like it a little bit close to my eyelids. And I'm using a more pigmented blush for today because again, I really really want that dimension to show through. Seeping this over a little bit below my eyelids. I'm gonna spritz my eyeliner brush with the ZC setting spray just to intensify it. I'm gonna take the darkest color from this palette. I'm gonna use this color as my eyeliner for today. We're just really trying to define and line the eyes. Elongating the eyes a little bit. Just like so. Now I'm gonna set everything. I'm gonna set it using this powder, British Museum XZC collaboration, hence the really cute packaging. It's the refreshing silky powder. This powder is super smooth, like super smooth to the touch, super thin, super lightweight. I've used this a couple of times. It really doesn't give you a lot of coverage, but it is a brightening powder. So I'm gonna apply that on like underneath my eyes. Again, do you see the difference? You see the difference? This just looks brighter as opposed to this side. And I'm just gonna apply that on the other side as well. This is one of the most blurring powders I have in my collection. Literally, para ako naka filter when I use this. Sometimes I just really wanna look a little bit more, more natural. So what I do is I just dust off the excess. This sponge is so good. It reaches like every crevice of your face and sets it perfectly. So, super ganda ng sponge that it comes with. Makapal siya, super good quality. If you wanna look like a porcelain doll, tipong literally walang pores. Like, poreless, goodness, filtered. This is the powder you should be using. I'm gonna use a skinny mascara. This is their Slender Mascara. I'm just gonna apply that on the lower lash line. Hmm! 
The mascara is sakto, like not my fave. I'm going back to the palette and I'm just deepening this like outer area. Again, just for some definition. Really want to balance your eyes out. Going back to the contour highlight palette, I'm taking the highlighter, which I was so impressed by earlier. I'm just gonna highlight my nose. Yes! The tops of my nose. That highlight is smooth. Ang ganda ng highlight. It's so smooth. I'm so into that. I'm also gonna add just a tip above the brow bone. This one lifts the brows a little bit. On the brow bone. This palette is so good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This one. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm gonna do highlighter. Highlighter is so good. I really like it. It's so smooth. And it's like the perfect shade for my skin tone also. Just adding final touches, like a little bit more contour here. If it's for a photo, don't be scared. Mabilis ang lip liner lang. I highly recommend you line your lips also. So that your lips just look juicier, poutier on the photo. So now it's time for the lips. These are called the Liquid Lip Tint Gloss Ultra Everlasting. So I love how chiseled my face looks. And the highlighter is everything. It's supposed to be full color, silky, soft texture, refreshing, and non-sticky. So let's try it out. I have the shades 515. This is 515. It's like those velvet lip tint type of products. We also have 511. There you go. 505. I just really want that look enhancing makeup. I'm going to do 515. 515? Yeah, this color. This looks the most new to me. And I'm just gonna start from the center and do this. You can do full opacity. This is a buildable, I would say like velvet lip color. This is, I would say, the, the full opacity of the lip color. I ended up wearing 515. Super beautiful color. Look at how like nice that is. And now I'm gonna lock it in with the Lasting Makeup Setting Spray again. One last spritz. Douse yourself in that beauty. Been enjoying this. I also like how it's melting everything in to make it look more seamless and like one layered. Yeah, Bola, this is the final finished makeup look. This is like my face but better photogenic type of a makeup look, you guys. Honestly, looks so freaking skin-like. I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. This chiseled skin is... Thank you to this ZC palette. Like this palette, I think is one of my favorites. It looks so put together, pero the subtle, the subtlest things we did made such a huge difference to this makeup look. I'm gonna try it like a flash photography test. I am shocked. I think I did something, y'all. You're gonna thank me. What the heck? This looks so flawless. Are you kidding me? Ready for your passport, baby. Ready for your passport. Three, two, one, smile. You guys, honestly, ZC exceeded my expectations. I'm gonna reco you my top favorite products. My first pick is this contour palette. This surprised me so much. It performs like a higher end palette. It's so smooth to the touch. It's not overpoweringly pigmented, but it's buildable, smooth, silky. The highlight is a gem. Like, what the heck is this? How did they do this? Look at that highlight. I mean, what the heck? And it's not accentuating my patches, by the way. Like, the highlight is such a pretty color without accentuating all of my imperfections. The primer. This nude primer is a must. I feel like it actually did something to my face that changed the look of my face. Like, I don't know what it is, but... Ang smooth talaga ng skin ko. The feel in yung mga pores. Foundation is not the best I've tried. I have to be honest. But it still looks really wonderful. But this primer, if you add your favorite foundation to the mix and then you have this as your primer, this would look so good. Like, I absolutely love it. The powder is a win. Like, honestly, filtered. Smoothed out my imperfections. Made me look like I have no pores whatsoever. Girl, this photo just looks edited AF. Look at that. Super blurry, guys. The eyeshadow palette. That's actually really good. Like the mattes, 
the mattes in here are so good you saw how easily this blended out i really love the tones in here it's so 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 pretty last but not the least the setting spray look at how it melted the skin it helps prolong the wear of your makeup so i really like that um also melts everything and makes it look cohesive yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this really elaborate maraming tips and tricks and a man in a passport slash whatever you need this for makeup tutorial after 10 years if you look back that is a really good face beat that's what i want you guys to feel in this makeup look. i'm gonna leave all of the products from zc in the description box if you guys want to check them out i think they're gonna have 11 11 deals just for you if you guys have suggestions again makeup tutorial requests drop them in the comment section below and until then i'll see you guys in the next video bye